Hey guys, welcome to Rosie's Dessert Spot. Today we'll be creating these fondant watercolor decorated cookies. The recipe for this will be listed in the description box. I'll also have an ebook coming out with all the recipes that I use, and I'll be sure to pop that link somewhere in the description box for you. This is unsalted butter at room temperature. I am just beating it with a paddle attachment for a good three minutes. Give it a swipe down on the sides and then keep beating it until it's light and creamy, usually for another three or so minutes. At which point you can gradually add in your caster sugar, which is also known as super fine sugar. Add it about a tablespoon at a time and then let it run for a couple of minutes. Stop and scrape down the side of the bowl again and let it beat for another few minutes. At which point you can then add in your egg and your vanilla. Make sure that all of your ingredients are at room temperature, that way they all blend well together. After a minute or two should look a little something like this. Here I'm adding in vanilla bean paste. I prefer vanilla bean paste. I like to see the flavor in the cookies. All those little dots of black for the beans just look so much nicer. Gradually add in your flour mixture along with your baking soda, your salt, and your optional cinnamon. Let that run on a low speed for a minute or two until everything is incorporated. And then just with your hands, you can dislodge any of the cookie dough from the paddle attachment. Roll it out onto a working surface that's been dusted with flour. And then just help to press it all together into a bowl. At which point you can flatten it out a little and then wrap it up in cling film or glad wrap. Basically plastic food wrap. And allow it to rest in the fridge for about 30 minutes if you can. Really just helps the flavors come together and the dough to settle a little bit. And um, yeah, just makes it a lot easier to work with and behaves when baking. After half an hour, you can turn it out onto your work surface. Leave it there for maybe 10 minutes just to soften out a little and roll it to about, mm, about a centimeter or so in thickness usually works. You can go a little bit thinner as well. If you like your thick cookies, they might have to bake for a little bit longer. And if you like them a little bit thinner, bake them for a little bit less time because they will cook quickly and brown. Once you've cut out your desired shape, place it onto a cookie sheet lined with baking paper. Before you go ahead and bake these little babies, you wanna make sure that you've um, placed them into the freezer for a good half an hour. This will just make sure that as they bake, they maintain their shape a lot better and they don't expand as much. There's always this little piece of dough that's left right at the end. I like to just roll it into a bowl, flan it out with something and then just bake it off as a spare. Do leave at least two centimeters in between each cookie, just in case they, they can expand just a little bit, but again, into the freezer for 30 minutes to help reduce that expanding. Once they bake at 180 degrees Celsius for 10 to 15 minutes, depending on the size and thickness, they should look a little something like that. Allow them to cool completely. And then in the meantime, you can create the decoration. This is white fondant that I've used, rolled out to about three or so millimeters in thickness. I have my little laser cut name that I'm pressing into the fondant with my fondant smoother. Gently remove it from the fondant. And then when you are ready, you can take some edible gel food color and create a paint. To create a paint, you can use vodka or you could use um, lemon juice or white vinegar, something acidic that will evaporate quickly. Alcohol will evaporate the fastest though, so rose water spirit or vodka would work nicely. You can pour the alcohol directly onto your dollop or um, dob of gel food color, dilute it with your brush, and then brush it on the edges of your little fondant piece. You can dab the end of the brush directly onto that little gel piece to create really, really dark um, brush strokes. 
And then to dilute and create a little bit more of a true watercolor effect, I've taken another brush and loading it with just vodka. I'm going to kind of tap it onto the surface of the um, colored section of the fondant to help dilute it and help spread that color a little more. It also helps to blend the dark into the light some too. Allow it to set for about 10 minutes or so, just until it's just sticky, and then take a brush and apply some gold leaf over the watercolor effect. These do need to dry out before you handle them, usually takes about half an hour or so. If you leave them to dry on the baking paper, it will still remain flexible because the underside is still touching the paper so it's not drying out thoroughly. And then apply them to your cookies with a sugar glue. This is glucose syrup that I have in the tiny bowl mixed with a bit of water. And then just using a brush to apply it to the back of the fondant and onto the cookie. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and recipe. If you give it a go, I would love to hear your feedback. Hashtag Rosie's Dessert Spot to share your photos. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.